welcome to From a Day's Tears. We're so excited for you to be here. I'm here with my awesome co-host, Heather. Hi, Angela. How are you doing? Good. How are you? It's been a long time since it's just been you and I. I know it has. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's different. It's different. It's different. We don't have a guest today. It's just us. So we're going to talk about travel. So we started our travel section with our awesome um featured guest Amy from Amy West Travel. Make sure y'all go out on her blog, her Instagram pages, and support her because she's an amazing uh, travel blogger. And I want to make sure we mention our three, I keep saying mantras because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we want to make sure we're going from guilt to grace, from fear to faith, and from superficial multitasking to superbly managing our time. So we're going to keep that in mind. Something I'm working on as oh, well. I'm not managing my time well at all. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I'm already a dropout. Sorry, guys. She's, it's almost the end of the school year. <laughs> we have a countdown in my house for summer vacation. Sorry, teachers. We're done. <laughs> Which is good. We're hanging on, okay? We're talking about travel. So you're already in the travel I already have. We already have two big trips planned. So and I'm trying to plan a third. So there you go. And we're, so we're going to talk about cruises, international travel, and traveling with family. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I love traveling with my family. I love our family trips. We have so much fun. So so family with an asterisk. Because I love family traveling with Reggie and Izzy. Yeah. But family trips sometimes with extended family to me can that's be that's hard fun. that's stressful. stressful we do have one of those trips coming up do you yeah how many people um is there 11 of us that's we're sharing a house is it on the beach yeah well okay. the house isn't quite on the beach but okay. it is a beach destination so okay. it'll be fun that'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be fun there might people. be some mommy green juice involved but it'll be fun wait what's green juice margaritas oh, okay well then that's fine there's a, 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 a mom comedian who and she calls it her mommy green juice and yeah. i just started going and it's a margarita i went oh i'm just gonna call it green juice so i don't have that what are you doing green? it's green juice because green juice is acceptable and margaritas so i was just gonna say there goes miss blondie all right so our, our featured guest today was um chelsea and she's a member of our team and unfortunately she couldn't be here today with us because she had a family emergency and we just saw her walking by so we were yeah just like oh yeah so we're gonna miss her today but she's gonna be featured in some other episodes yes. and we have an awesome because she has awesome... some great travel advice oh too. she does yes. she does because yeah. she has a couple of children unlike yeah. me who only has the one so cruises we're gonna but start with cruises i'm gonna say traveling with one could also be just as hard as traveling with two to be honest because he's very easy to travel yeah. with but we started traveling with her when she was like six months yeah old. i know and i want so... i mean i know that's not optimal for everybody yeah, but yeah. i do feel like the earlier you start oh yeah not just easier for the child but even for yourself to yeah. learn how to negotiate and maneuver because yeah. as i always say when you travel with kids the rules just go out the window <laughs> no because like you know some people have very strict rules like we used to do one fruit snack yeah, oh, really? a day one but when we travel it would became here's the whole box yeah, you fun. just you just take the entire container and throw it at the child <laughs> And just let them have at it. Oh, no. I know. Mean, I, I kept just... emergencies like in a long line at the grocery store. Because yeah. I hated being that mom who had to open up stuff in your cart. Because I hated going home and having boxes already open. Yeah, like yeah, that just yeah. drove, I don't know, it's the little driving me nuts. No. It, um... <laughs> we, we don't portion snacks on, tri on trips. Yeah, but on trips, yeah, I everything goes out. My daughter, my daughter had her first Oreo at three on an airplane from the nice, friendly woman sitting in the oh. aisle. I actually never really had an Oreo cookie myself until then, and I think she and I ate the whole thing. But you know what? It was a five-hour flight, and my daughter was very pleased. So rule number one. Well, so we're going to mix actually traveling with family throughout all this. Oh, yes, yes. But rule number one with traveling with family is never portion out the snacks. Don't do yeah. that. It's vacation, y'all. It's the roll it's with vacation. the punches. What yes. It, roll with the punches. Yes. Because, yes. I mean, you start off with my usual rules like yeah. your usual rules no, try no, it because no, no, i know everybody sorry, everybody's a little different but it didn't work for mine and i think that's why my kids enjoy traveling is because they know we're a little bit more flexible and you should it's a vacation it's a vacation You're supposed to have fun. <laughs> yeah and i want them to have fun and i want i don't want them to go oh well what's the point of going on a trip if we're still that's the thing yeah yeah so like the, the rules with like TV, the rules with iPads, yeah. the rules with food, the rules with, unless your child, you know, like Izzy can't have high fructose corn syrup or artificial dye. Right. Never. So even on vacation, we're not going to let her you have that. Out. You keep that out. Yeah. I mean, if she gets a, a ketchup packet, addicts. maybe. I mean, but not that, addicts, but allergies. allergies. That's what I was trying to say, allergies. Yeah, and that's going to ruin her trip if she has that kind right. of stuff. But if she has a little extra sugar, it didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's vacation. Well, and you have to still watch that too because you don't yeah. want them not 
going to sleep at night because part of that too is putting them to bed and being able to sit outside or in another room and unwinding as adults too. No, I just go in a different room and close the door. Well, that's what I'm saying, but I don't want them to be so like, mom, mom, No, no, mom, I say, mom. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so I'm done. I have this thing where I need my quiet. I've learned this. Yes. I, I, it's because I'm an old mommy. I've done this yeah. thing where I'm like, okay, this is the time I am going to bed. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You guys do you. So is, right. if you want to stay up till 10 o'clock, that's between you and your father. I'm out. And yeah. I go and I close the door. And now if you come in yeah. and y'all bother me and I'm asleep asking me something like where the, the Simply Cheetos are, not my You're problem. not going to like my answer. No. So they have learned. Yeah. They have learned. And I now have the older <laughs> kids and I'll tell them, yeah, you can stay up as late as you want. Yeah. But remember, tomorrow morning, we're starting at 7 a.m. You start at 7? Depends on where we are. If we have to get in the car and drive somewhere. Okay. We, we are not the resort people. Okay. We're the, let's find a flat or an apartment. Okay. And okay. we're going to have to drive to get to every place we go. My husband does not okay. like structured vacations. So we're kind of in the middle. So we don't yeah. necessarily do structured, but yeah. 7 o'clock in the morning, I used yeah. to do that. Now I'm like, we get up at like... Yeah. Eight, nine, we and put on the breakfast. We're maybe going on a tour or we're going to go kayaking somewhere. But we do that like later. Yeah. Like we don't. We oh, don't yeah. See, we have plans later on because there's probably some pl restaurant we're trying to get to that opens at a certain time. See, and, no. Mm -mm. We don't make more than two plans a day. It's all about the food. No, I agree with, no, no, yeah, we, we, we agree with that. Food. But we don't make more than like two plans in a day. Yeah. Because part of our vacation for Izzy, Reggie, and right. I, we want to get up and enjoy the morning. Yes. Like have breakfast, relax. And we don't even like get to things till maybe like 10 or 11, like Disney. So yeah. we went to Disney. We always go to Disney. Yeah. yeah. We're always yeah. we're always at Disney. Well, Izzy and I are always at Disney. Reggie tolerates Disney, but we bleed for disney <laughs> yeah. no my husband's right there with the reggie he if, if 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 magic kingdom could be more like epcot he'd be there okay okay reggie doesn't at all <laughs> he tolerates it like he'll get there at 11 he's like okay it's two o'clock we're like but we just got he's like i just did three hours <laughs> <laughs> we're like it's, it's a, a long drive though i mean i know we live fairly close but it's still a long drive for three hours but we stay overnight oh. most of the time like so We'll stay overnight. So this, what was it? Spring break we had. Yeah. So spring break we went up for a couple of nights. Okay. And we um we were there for two days. So we got up like maybe nine or ten. Yeah. No, no. I'm sorry. The first day we get up at eight o'clock or seven o'clock and we drive to oh yeah to yeah. the hotel. We drop Reggie off. We leave at five a.m. Five o'clock because we do day trips. The one time we've gone so far, we go in the morning and we come back that night. We've done that, but we don't leave till seven thirty. Oh no, we want to be there when the gates open. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Because we don't have season passes, so okay, I mean, okay, we're buying tickets okay, and we're trying okay, to get there yeah. early. If you pay $300 yeah. a person, I would be there at 5 o'clock in the morning yeah. when they're when they're sweeping the stairs, I'm just saying. Yeah, but you can go as often yeah, as you want we go, we to do. Yeah. average out yeah. the cost. Yeah. So that's why we you know, we get up at 7, well, we leave them leave at like a 7 30 or 8. Okay. And so we'll get there at the hotel. We drop Reggie off at like 10 yeah. or 11. He's at the hotel happy, happy with Uber Eats. And then we'll like go to the bathroom, check emails, yeah. play on Facebook, and we end up leaving the hotel like 11. Okay, okay. And then we'll go to Disney and then we'll eat lunch. Okay. Because I always have to have a lunch and a cocktail. I'm sorry. For me, I'm not. We always forget to make the reservation. So that's key. Oh, if that. you're going to <laughs> Disney, do Angela, not Heather, who for some reason feels, because I feel so structured because I have yeah. planned so much that by the time lunch rolls around, yeah. I'm like, oh, I should have made a reservation. Because oh, you yeah. cannot just walk into a restaurant and in any of the parks at Disney <laughs> thinking you're going to be seated in air conditioning. You can't even no. try and tip them. They won't take no, tips. I've tried. No, 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 no. You better have made your reservation <laughs> yeah, you before you get there. Yeah, you do. I'm about to do a mom and kids trip to Disney. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still working through, what is it? Because they, we, they want one more time. I, I have older kids, remember. Yeah. They want one more time at Magic Kingdom before they're finished. Okay. That's nice. And then we want to go and explore Epcot because we all, well, Ian was like six three months old, the yeah. one and only time he's been to Epcot. Yeah. Emma was too. Yeah. Um, we want to go back to Epcot because my husband loves Epcot. It's the best. I, okay, so the food, we're going to get to cruises eventually. Let's talk about Disney while we're here, okay? Yeah, since we're here. Since yeah. we're here. Since and she does Disney all the time, and oh, I'm a, I I I used to go all the time as a kid because I grew up in Florida. But well, since, we lived in Michigan. We went once. Yeah, we used to go all the time. Okay. Like, a lot. Like, I was to the point of, oh, gosh, Disney again? <laughs> So is because it, we would go for like as you, like you do yeah. for like three at four hours and then I'm like okay I'm done. Well, see these last couple times, we've gone, like we'll get there, we go to lunch, I have my cocktail and an Advil, 
Ooh, yeah, because I get it's, it's it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. So a lot of you people, but it's a lot it's of you. A lot of you. It's a lot of you. And y'all. And you're loud. And you cry. Oh the adults God, are crying. Cry. Halfway through, it's the adults are crying. The kids are crying. Yeah. It's it's bad. I want the T-shirt that says it's bad. where you see the husbands wearing it saying, "I'm here because I was told I had to come." Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes I feel I need that for my husband, who's like, "Where am I moving to now? <laughs> <laughs> what bench should I sit on now?" And I'm like, how much money people. did I pay for you to sit on that bench? Three hundred dollars. <laughs> no, no, Plus we, food. no, no. Well, <laughs> did you get the park hopper? No, we never do the park hopper. You don't? No, we do one park a day. So we go like we'll go to Magic Kingdom and sometimes we'll. I see Scott this too. as if we've gone to Disney a lot. We go, <laughs> the last time we went, we went with family from out of the country, yeah. and we just were going for Magic Kingdom. So okay. we only went to Magic Kingdom because he was the little boy we were with. It was just had just turned six. Oh, okay. It was going to be a big day for him, and I really wanted him to get the full no, that's Disney. Good. That's we good. ended up that's having good. to separate though because my kids were really into roller coasters. Um, oh, okay, okay. And then it turns out my daughter. It wasn't a fluke at Universal Studios. She really does get motion sickness on slow moving rides. Really? Oh, yes. Faster? Okay. Slow moving? Oh, no. She's out for like So hour. she can't do like it's a small world. Oh, or she looked at that. And she, no. Really? No, because she went on the one. Oh, I forget which one it is. It was the, um, I don't know which one it was now. It was over in the, when you go to the right. <laughs> Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland. Okay. It was one of those over People there. Over? It wasn't the people mover, but it was something over there because she went on the Jimmy, is it Jimmy Kimmel at Universal Studios? Never been to Universal, sorry. Where you do, um, it's like you're in his taxi, I think. The yeah, new, never been. Yeah, um, she got really sick at grad We're Disney doing, people, we're not Universal yeah. people. Yeah, um, we're everybody. <laughs> we're everyone. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we love all parks. We're really excited about going to SeaWorld. Like, I'm just going to throw that. We're excited about going to SeaWorld. My kids have never We're been. We're Disney people. She's a Disney person. <laughs> My daughter went through a Disney princess period for two months. Okay. And then she was done. Oh. And I was sad because I'd bought all the VHS tapes of Disney princesses. Oh. And I don't think she's ever watched a single one. That's not good. No. So I gave them away. Because, one, I don't even know who uses VHS anymore. No, when Izzy was first born, we are all over the place today. We're even yeah. talked about cruises. But anyway, I think it's I think because, because we haven't been here in so long. This is, it's the first time that we're together, just the two of us. And we're back in our... We actually have plans. I put plans together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, two two pages, and, and Chelsea left me some notes, too, for yeah, her. We, but we told her, no, you'll just come back. I don't know. Um, a hot mess, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. So, but Disney, okay, so Disney, I would, yes. if we're going to talk about Disney for just a few seconds, I would say, if you're going to go to Disney, do not plan every hour. No. You will OD as an over Disney. I see those families all the time. They're, they, literally, the adults are crying, yeah. the kids are crying, and y'all pay too much money to go to Disney To be and that cry. miserable, yeah. So don't do that. I go into that because I've done quite a few chaperoning of school field trips to yeah. the zoo. Okay. Where you're with a, a group of kids, yeah. some who've been to the zoo and some who've never yeah. been to the yeah. zoo. And so I like to ask, and after my first time chaperoning, the second time I went, okay, everybody gets one animal. Animal? Oh, you like to pick the one, zoo. one place to go. Right. So at okay. Disney, that also became the rule. Everybody gets one ride that I will promise we will stand in any long line. Well, if you don't buy the do Genie Pass, you will only get one ride. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. So, I mean, but it was fun because what is, uh, I forget the names of everything and I'm a little over caffeinated today. What's yeah. the one with the, it's in the big mountain, space, space, mountain. space splash mountain. No, it's the space, space mountain. Space mountain. Okay. We're going to go to space mountain. Um, it goes really fast and it's dark. Mm -hmm. Our goal was to get on it once. We got on it four times. How did you get on it four times? Because the first two times we went, there was no line because we got there so early. Oh, okay. And the next two times, everybody wanted to rotate between who was in the first seat. Oh. Uh, and so I was like, okay. And it was air conditioned. Yeah, air conditioning. Is so yeah, but I mean, like, it was great because everybody got, by then, by the time everybody got through the one thing they wanted to do, we actually got on a lot of rides that day. Okay, so now this episode is about Disney. Let's just stay with that because yeah. this is what we're talking about. We'll go to cruises in the next episode. And yeah. We're talking about Disney. It's my favorite because topic. It's her favorite topic. And I'm just Disney. taking my kids again in June. Well, then we're going to plan your trip. And you're going to help us plan your trip. trip okay. because so I'm... how many days are you going? <laughs> One day. Okay. So if you're going for one day. And I'm trying to determine this because I'm going, I can't decide if I should go 
because we have a hotel room because I don't want to do the drive How home. far away is the hotel room? Um, it offers a shuttle to the park. Okay, let's talk about those shuttles. So I need to know, well, it says mm -hmm. you have to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. No, you would, you would drive. I would not do the shuttle because depending, if it's a Disney hotel, yeah. I would do the shuttle. If it's an off-brand well, hotel. One time we did a Disney, uh, the line for the Disney shuttle was too long that we just got in our car and drove. And I'm, not, I'm not opposed to driving and parking because yeah. that actually makes, I feel like I have more control. I prefer But I can't decide drive. if I should do the hotel the day before the day before or the next day uh, and I have question. teenagers so that's like you question. know we're they're able to walk they're able to run or walk you know walk faster they're not gonna be like mom carry me or I can't carry my how late are you planning to stay at the park I want to stay until it closes so that's where I feel like I should do the hotel that night I would do the hotel that night okay only because if you're gonna stay until it closes if you're you're doing Magic Kingdom yeah just Magic Kingdom just Magic Kingdom then by the time you get to your car it could be like 10 right. o'clock at night yeah and then you have to drive well and I pay for the close-up parking oh you pay for preferred oh yeah because if they're only there for nice. one day yeah I feel like I need to make it that's not yeah I've, I've never if paid I, for preferred yeah we did it the last time with the little one when there was a yeah. you know how many of us were there? There were um, seven of us. Yeah. It was so much easier to get in and out of the car because, again, we yeah. left at 5.30 in the morning. That's all I wanted. It was really early, but... But if you're doing it for one day... Starbucks inside Magic Kingdom, people. <laughs> there is. I was with a long line. <laughs> well, but you can mobile order, too, just FYI. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going to go for one day, I agree with Heather. Get up early in the morning yeah. and get there when the park opens. Because we're like just, I don't know yeah. if we're telling people, we're like a 90-minute drive to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. To give people an idea of what when we say Depending we're on drive. traffic, it could be an hour and a half. And if it's 5.30 yeah. in the morning, it's, it's, that's it, not bad. it's not bad at all. And you don't get stuck on all the no, crazy traffic. No, no, no. And you get there. And again, my kids are older. Yeah. They're able to push, push, push. And then okay. we have an... I'm going to make reservations for a good lunch I would, so that we can yeah. just decompress. I would definitely say I sit in air conditioning. Sit. If you don't if you don't pay for dinner, fine. If you don't do a fancy restaurant, if you don't yeah. want to We're at just least gonna do something get, that's air conditioned. You have to in my opinion in the summer heat which starts now, we're March. Yeah, we're now, here. Get a sit-down restaurant. Yeah for lunch okay, so let's ask and you, soak up every bit of air conditioning you can possibly get. And letting people take care of you. That is the key. <laughs> Not having to three ki two kids and they want two totally different things and you're running around and then you never get to eat because by the time you get them settled, you're like, it's yeah, too hot, no, I just no. want water. Pay How for the restaurant. How far should you make the reservation? As soon as you can. Okay. As, they think they allow you to do 60 days out. Okay. So if you can, we're make right it 60 at, days. We're right at 60. 59. There's 59 do it now. Because the last fault. <laughs> there are certain restaurants you can just not get. Like my right, favorite, yes. my favorite restaurants in Magic Kingdom would be I love Ooh. Cinderella's Castle. Yeah. I love the the three flights of um. There's like a martini margarita thingy. Oh. Honey, that's fantastic. Ooh. Get that if you're at Cinderella's Castle. That's my favorite. And then um, be our guest. I like that restaurant. But I was sick last time I went. So I really okay. didn't have a chance to experience. But if you can, yeah. beg, ask, plead, whatever. Get inside the 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 dining room yeah. where the beast comes oh. because it has the forever snow and it really looks like it's snowing. Ooh. So get that. <laughs> Just ask. Say please, 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 please. I will wait an extra ten minutes. It's oh, so that's worth totally it. worth it. It's worth yeah. It. Yeah. And then yeah, you can yeah. get the tour after. But sit in the dining room. Okay. For be our guest if you do that one. Yeah. And then we've been to all of them. We've been to the Crystal Palace where yep. the Disney characters Winnie the Pooh comes around. Yeah. We've done that one. Okay. We've done um, the Tony one. I didn't really like that one. The food was okay. Okay. Um, we did, gosh, we've done, I can't even think of all the restaurants at Magic Kingdom, but my favorite is Cinderella's Castle. Okay. And then. Um, oh, Be Our Guest. And Be Our Guest. I like that one too. Okay. Because they, and then, oh, we went, I can't remember. Sorry, I cannot think of the other ones at Magic Kingdom. My favorite one at Hollywood Studios. Yes, because that's our next. Would have to I feel be. like we're doing like these little tours. It's like yeah. when you go to a different parts when, you, when you're when you visiting different yeah, states. Yeah, sure. So yeah, I feel like that's what we're going to do because I do like the park hopper idea, but I never see us being there for three or four days. Like that just never seems to be. My husband is not a part that kind of a person he is a get in a car and drive for three days and go down dirt roads that nobody knew existed that's fun can't do that at disney can't do that at disney, disney police will get but, you you don't want disney police getting you yeah no i don't want to be banned from disney because i one day i'm going to have grandchildren and i'm going to be that grandmother who overloads them with sweets and sugars and goes here's your child back i'm that's going out to dinner now bye that's a great grandparent <laughs> Here. But if you're like, so if you're going to yeah. do it at Disney, if you do the park hopper, the only thing where I would say you might want to get the park hopper yeah. is if you're going to be at Disney all day 
at Magic Kingdom and then get the park hopper to go over to Epcot. Okay. Only because, and it's it's ridiculously expensive. Yeah. But if you want to sit and see the fireworks, oh, I would at recommend Epcot? at you Epcot. You can see them at Epcot. You can. So, but it's a it's yeah. the Epcot fireworks, which is still nice. But the okay, so Magic Kingdom fireworks, you have to stand oh, yes. on Main Street and get there at least an hour ahead of time. Yes. And I call it going wide. You literally stand there with your arms like this, yeah. so that people won't come and squish you like this. So and you always have some lady that comes like 15 minutes before the fireworks start and gets right in front of you. Yeah. So you have to like literally stand there for a while and go wide. Yeah. So you need to be there like an hour early yeah. to do Magic Kingdom fireworks. So but if you want to sit. Yeah, go to Epcot. Go to Epcot. Or you can do um, um, Cinderella's Castle, but you have to make sure you get the window seat. And yeah. I don't know how much you can see. Yeah. But Epcot has the place with the margaritas. Is it San Angel? No, that's the other one. It's the Hacienda, I think. Hacienda, okay. And you can sit on the water inside oh. air conditioned Ooh. the food is good and get there at like Maybe 8 45 or 8 30 the fireworks start at like 9 or 9 15. i do i go there often and you can sit there inside the restaurant they yeah. kind of dim the lights okay you hear all the sound and you're on the water at epcot and you see all of the fireworks yeah i'm definitely gonna have to remember this when we go to epcot so, so here's what happened the yeah. last time we went to disney and saw the fireworks yeah it was totally unplanned which means i will never be able to recreate it we had just decided we were done like again we were there with a three-month-old and a two-year-old that's a lot and we did the whole day we did the princess breakfast at epcot oh, that that's morning so um we took my um mother-in-law with us who halfway through epcot decided she was done so we oh. had to get her back on the shuttle and hope she got back to where she needed to be at the hotel um and then we did the park hopper over to magic kingdom yeah. um but when we decided we were done and we yeah. couldn't wait anymore for the fireworks we got on the train yeah and got to see the fireworks that's also a good idea but it's I, it was the timing it's thing. the timing, it's the timing thing. Thing. it was it just us and like another family on the train too. it yeah. wasn't even crowded and yeah. it was like well, how this is how you should see the fireworks that's is nice. on this train. Did you see the Epcot fireworks or Magic Kingdom? It was Magic Kingdom. That's nice too. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I've seen both of them. I yeah. like. I've seen the ones at Magic Kingdom. I've seen standing on Main Street. Yeah. I've sat twice at Epcot at the Hacienda. I gotta remember that. Flight of margaritas, y'all. I am not an alcoholic, okay? But I do like margaritas. They're my favorite, They're too. Fantastic. Like, my favorite thing in the world. And I think it's a Hacienda restaurant. I should have my Disney app right you here. Should. I should have got that. But there's a... I think the margaritas are, like, this big. So they're, it's not a small it's like size. A, it's yeah. a good size. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a good flight. size for sitting there and waiting for the fireworks. It is. To, yeah, yeah. Kill the time. It kill the time. And the food is good. It's Mexican food. So if you like Mexican food, it's good. Yeah. And you can I ask. It to, I do, too. <laughs> you can sit there on the water. And then... Um, there are tons of restaurants in Epcot that are good. I think in total, yeah, the yeah. best restaurants for Disney parks are in Epcot. Really? Okay. The best. My husband, like I said, my husband is very much an Epcot person. Yeah. But he's just, I'm like, I want to go in the middle of the week. I want to go as soon as the kids yeah, are out of school. Yeah, yeah. It's one of our bucket list things, so we might as well. Yeah. I'll just do it. I mean, I've taken, I've taken my kids on a road trip from Seattle to Portland by myself. Yeah. What is Disney? And now well, they're you can teenagers. You can definitely do it. Yeah. And then so I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, but that's because I don't have a handle on what exactly we want to do, and that's why I'm overwhelmed. So I would definitely have a plan, a yeah. loose plan, kind of like on the show. I always say I know exactly what yeah. I'm doing, and I shake my head. Yeah. No, I don't. No, so I we don't have a plan, yeah. but we we just yeah. kind of I will see we my kids have a, a bit. plan okay. from Magic Kingdom. I would have a plan. Yeah. I would get yeah. the app. Hold on, I'm gonna, my phone is is right there, and I'll show you. We do this love app. the app. You definitely the have app to get the app. The app is great because the app shows you how to get from point A to point B definitely. from where you're trying to go to. You can make reservations Thank for you, restaurants Valerie. in there. Um, your tickets are on there. Yes, I am tempted to get the magic bands. I don't have the magic just bands. because I think they're cute. They're, they're cute, but they're like twenty, forty, fifty they dollars really cute. Expensive. So I've never bought yeah. the magic bands. Yeah. What we do is there's an you can get, add all the passes to your wallet on yes, your phone. Yes, that's what I've done too. So we add them to our pa to our wallet, and you can use them for genie. You can use them for yes. eating. The other thing I have I mentioned. I want to say too. I I wasn't gonna do it, and then yeah. all of a sudden, wait, this is a great family picture. I bought the picture. You can do that too. I've never bought them. I probably should. Only it. because it, I hate to say it's only $70, but every time they take your picture anywhere in the park, that's true. It's there. That's and then true. you own those pictures that's at true. the end of the day. That's true. So I just, and if you don't go that often, like we were, it yeah. was kind of fun at the end to go, oh, this is kind of great. I have some great pictures because they true. will take like 20 shots of you all at once. They will. And they're all, they put them all into that app. That's so true. I do like that. If you're not 
if you're not like a season pass holder yeah. and you maybe go once a year, I think it's worth the extra $70 if you can swing it. I agree. Because $70 is a lot of money. It is. But it's family pictures too, which is cheaper than most family pictures. Yeah. And you can even use them for a Christmas card. Yeah. And which is what we did. We put them on our picture, our Christmas card. Because, I mean, if the kids, when little kids, their face changes a lot. But they as they do. get older, it's not as much. Well, so if it's mid year, you probably could get yeah. away with it for Christmas. All, well, we just do a whole bunch of pictures over a whole year. We oh, like that's to, perfect. yeah, we love to throw pictures on yeah. throughout the year, try to get one each of the kids, one of the kids together, and yeah. one as a family on there. Yeah. Because some of the, we have friends who we just don't see all the time anymore. Yeah. I'm a big Christmas card person, but um, I didn't get a lot of Christmas cards back from people last year, so you're on a list. You don't want to be on Actually, the list. Actually, the people who sent me cards are on the list. Oh, yeah. Because okay. I pay a lot of money for Christmas cards, and then I, I realize, too. wait, I'm not even getting cards back. And that makes me sad because I love Christmas cards. I love them, too. <laughs> so for Disney, have a plan, but be a little loose with it. Right. At lunchtime, Pick a restaurant before, so at yeah, least 60 days out. Wing it. Reservation. Suck up all the air conditioning. And Sit there until you are full, honey. And I also <laughs> don't know if it's still the same. The one last time we went with my daughter when she was two, we yeah. went to the Disney Princess breakfast. And I thought okay. it was well worth it because we, it was a Which one, one of that one. It was at Epcot. That's all I can tell you. I don't remember. And that was the only building because that was the only place we could get a reservation for. So they have a. Is it when the princesses walk around? Well, We've been to that one. Yeah, it's, it's been also to that where one. when you first go through, like, though, you get a picture with whatever princess is assigned that day. So she got a, a picture with Belle, which was the only princess that she truly liked. They have that in Norway. Okay. We did it for lunch. Yeah. And they had like five and I or seven that was princesses. That's a great way to yeah. really get to see the princess. That is a good way. It's a great way. Little. That's a great and way. And the food was pretty decent. The food was good. Yeah. It was pretty good. It's expensive, but yeah. I thought it was. It's Disney. Yeah, it is Disney. It's going to be expensive. But I, again, it's a great way if your if your child is really into the character. Yeah, I would do that. It's a great that. way for because they will take that time with your one on one. They're not walking the line. They're waiting for you to mm -hmm. come up to them. I agree. Like the character experiences at Disney when you pay for them inside totally the restaurant, worth it. they make you feel so good. Oh. Like I literally cried when Tigger came over because like he was there and I was having a bad day and I and got I a hug do... from Tigger and he actually yeah. put us took us to another area to have pictures yeah. with him. And I like literally cried because I was having a bad day and I just needed a hug from Tigger. And so, I yeah. do want to point out, we're not getting anything for talking about Disney. No, but I would like to. Yeah, but I do just want to point out, like we're just <laughs> talking about Disney yeah. because we go to, Di we, I want to go to yeah. Disney and you go to yeah, Disney all the time. True. So I don't want people thinking we're getting paid yeah. for this. We are not, there's nothing. Yeah. yeah. But I also, they hit me like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, we are not paid sponsors of Dis <laughs> Disney World. But we want to be. Yeah. <laughs> but she's right. We're, we're, yeah. The, we want to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're here if you need help or want us to talk more about you. So, there are five of us. Yeah. Five of us. Yep, five of us. <laughs> Call me. All moms <laughs> with kids of various ages. And husbands that kind of don't want to go. But don't worry about them. That, that's less people moms, you have to pay moms sponsor fee for. Moms can do this on our own. We like, can. I really can. I, I, we, literally, when we went to the park yeah. for spring break, we went. So we went for two days. Yeah. We drove up in the morning, dropped Reggie off at the hotel. <laughs> we did. He did work. He was happy. Alex we went would have lunch. totally been right beside him. <laughs> it was a two-bedroom, two-bath two flat. He would have loved it. Yes. <laughs> They could have just worked side by side and yeah. probably never talked. No, probably never talked. But they would have listened to the same music because they have the same music taste. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went and had lunch. Children I had my Aunt Bill, yeah. And then we walked okay. around. And we went to Hollywood Studios. So I we did do that too. We did pay for, like I've not paid for this before, but we did pay for Hollywood and Vine. That restaurant, so it's a buffet style, Ooh, and many. I do love a buffet. No. I'm not gonna kid you. And I okay, so Hollywood and Vine. It's, um, food, in my opinion, is better than Crystal Palace. Hollywood and Vine is in Hollywood Studios, and Crystal Palace is in, as in Ma uh, Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah, right. And the characters at Magic Kingdom for Crystal Palace is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and all them, and they do a great job. It's and more for the little years. younger age. Well, Izzy still loves Winnie the Pooh. But she loves Winnie the Pooh. I mean, yeah, she, I, I Winnie love Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. I do. But I'm just saying, it's not more. No. Yeah. No. You have to really be into Winnie the Pooh. You then. do. Because okay. that's all that's coming out there, honey, is when it's... At Crystal Palace. At Crystal just, Palace. Okay. And then in Hollywood and Vine is Minnie, Mickey, or Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, and Pluto. Oh, and the food there was better. Their buffet was yeah. like a little high, more higher end. Okay. And I think it's because you're paying for Mickey and Minnie. Oh, right. Now, right. it's expensive. I mean, you're paying like $75 to $100 for lunch, but you're not paying seventy five to hundred dollars for lunch. What you're paying for is the the character experience. Right. Instead of standing an hour and a half in line to meet Mickey and Minnie, 
with you're, hot children. With hot you're, children. You're in air condition. You're in air condition. And you're eating. And if you've never been to Florida, you don't understand how important air conditioning is until you don't have it. Because I moved from a state where we didn't have air conditioning, and I paid just as much money for my house there as I did here. Yeah. And actually, that house is worth more than the house we just bought here, mm. and it has no air conditioning. But it was Seattle, though. It was Seattle. I could. I didn't even need to open up my windows. Really? No. Here you would die. You, you would do, the windows I called it the fake AC. You turn on your furnace fan and it just pulls air from outside and circulates it around your house. You can't do that. You can't no, do that. I tried doing that here and it just brought in hot, humid air into my no, house. You can't do that. It took me a day to dehumidify my house yeah. after that incident. But, but if you want to spend yeah. all day at Disney, if you want to spend all day at Disney, then the best thing to do, like I said, lunch, pick out the rides like she's going to, yeah. plan it out, or be pick out, like Especially if your kids are older, they know what they want to go on. They do. And it's a big park, too. It's, so you really do need to strategize you where you're going to go. Yes, you do. You, you can't go, oh, I'm going to go to Tomorrowland, and I don't even know what's over on the other side, but it's like the river stuff, the um, outback. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, it's I'm like on the outside. Um, hold on. Wait, we're we're pulling up the app. We're gonna pull nope, up the nope, app. No, no, we're not. Right there. Apply. So it's and that's right there. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, it's okay. You know, it's Adventureland. 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 Those aren't near each other. You're walking through oh. other things. So that's why you want to strategize. Where do your kids what are your kids wanting to do? What is one thing that yep. you know and get them involved. Show them the stuff because yep. you can even go on a website and see the map. Let yep. them read about the rides. It's I mean, one, they're reading, and two, they're thinking about Put the app on it. their phone. Oh, yeah, if they have phones. Just put take the credit card part off. Yeah, because also it's just good, too, because then they're they're kind of being more involved. Like, my kids were like, oh, did you know they're, like, they're not parade kids, but they're like, oh, mom, did you know there was a parade in 30 minutes? Maybe yeah. we should, that's why these people are lining up. Let's go yeah. watch. And they lost interest pretty quickly, because then yeah. they went, wait a minute, I bet there's not a line at the ride. Yeah, that's true. So that's then we true. went and got in line with the ride, so. That's true. And if you want to pay for the, so they used to have fast passes. They don't have them. People have complained. Now they have the genie pass. Right. From what I understand, the genie pass may or may not work. I think it depends the way you on which, want to. Yeah, I, and I feel like it's not for every ride either. I don't know. I, it, it, I didn't get it because I, I. I like to go in and see because it's been so long. I wanted to go in and see, and because it was one of those things you can't add on. After you're at the park, I think you can. I'm not sure. I don't. I We've don't had know. it once, but when we paid for it, it was like maybe seven or eight dollars. Now I've heard it's up to twenty-seven, eighty dollars a person yeah. no. per day. So because we go so often, you we only paid for it. it one time. We don't really need it. No, and we you can always you know you can go back the next. We can day go back. Day. Yeah, we can go back because we are there so often. Right, and we might ride. So the other thing is, Izzy and I don't like rides that go in circles, and right. we don't like the, the virtual reality rides because they make me nauseous. That's so enough. I had a concussion yeah. a couple years ago which has still affected me <laughs> not yeah. as badly as when it first happened but i still have some side effects from yeah. it so virtual reality rides things that go in a circle and roller coasters are things i cannot do yeah. anymore yeah thankfully and my daughter can still do fast roller she can't okay. do a slow ride yeah but a fast one she's told because she okay. loves roller coasters yeah, we don't do those. Yeah. So our day at Disney might look like it looks different from our completely. Day. So we'll yeah. look at the parade. We'll do the parades. My kids are running the stage because they're big kids, and I mean yeah. they're not running, running, but yeah. they're like, come on, let's let's find the f fastest route yeah. around these really slow moving people. Yeah. <laughs> we just kind of meander. And they both have cell phones, so if we get lost, we know how to. Yeah. My kids also are not afraid. I've really trained them really hard to, and this is something if you have little ones to train them on. To find what does a Disney employee look like. We talked about in our safety episode. Go back and look at that. Yes, because it's really good. Because maybe the cell phones aren't working. Maybe the air tag. I mean, my cat yeah. has an air tag and it never works properly because it's not bouncing off of anybody else's cell phone. Yeah. So teach them how to go and ask for help. Yeah, that's a good idea. What kind of adult to walk up to. And Disney employees are trained very, very, very quickly. Like, yes. Very well. They they are looking out. They are watching constantly. Yes. Um, I would say there's a wonderful for to stage station. We visited several times at Epcot yeah. for things like blisters. I needed earplugs. Yeah. Um, and they have band aid. They have everything. And, and they're, they're there very, for you. They really are there. Yeah. And they have customer service stations under those blue umbrellas. You can always go and ask them questions, yeah. and they will help you. Sometimes you have to stand in the line. But the, usually the blue umbrellas are located in the beginning of the park, not so much as you go throughout the park, but there are yeah. some there that you can get. Yeah. So I would say, you know, if you have a question, ask, and they will they will help you. There are some cranky employees, but there are cranky employees in your office, so yeah. get over it. And remember, it's hot, <laughs> so be a little nice to them because yeah. they probably have had really cranky people Constantly. coming to ask them <laughs> the exact same question over yeah. and over again. 
Another thing, though, that I want to wonder about, and because you have a little bit of a younger one, mm -hmm. but not that much younger. So I, my old boss used to swear up and down that you always, always, always rented the stroller. Okay. Because it holds your crap. Not so much for their children, but to store their crap on. Now, my kids, we take one backpack, and I don't even know if we'll do that next time because it ended up not needing anything. I think my daughter and I will just both bring our fanny packs. Okay. Because that's all we need. So we do not do the stroller thing because you have to leave all your stuff. Yeah. So what we do is we bring one backpack, like a little small one. Like Valerie has this lounge fly one that is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's the perfect size backpack to bring. Um, and we also all have fanny packs. Yeah. And that's what we bring to the park. So you might yeah. want to bring like an empty bottle. There are places to fill up your Lots water bottle. Lots of places to refill and, water bottles. And they will give you water. If you go into any restaurant, you do not have to wait in line. They can give you water because as much as you want. Because they're trying to keep you from passing out. Because again, it is really hot. They do. They want you to do that. Stay hydrated. So our Disney tips, which would take four more episodes to finish, would be <laughs> if you're going for one day, definitely leave early. Get there when the park opens. Yes. You know, make sure you do the seated air conditioned lunch. Don't be cheap. You've already paid eight thousand dollars to go to Disney for that day anyway. <laughs> you might as well sit What's down. What's another? I hate saying two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. your money anyway, yeah. not mine. Yeah. Just kidding. And nobody says you have to order all the fancy food. You no, you just don't. Go in well, and it's have prepaid. Oh, is it prepaid? Oh, oh I, yeah. It's, it's, this is how long it's been. It's prepaid. Um, but yeah, it's prepaid. So then you're it's done. Prepaid. Get your money's worth. Get your money's worth. Yeah. And then, so you can bring some snacks in the park, but you can't bring full meals and you can't bring a cooler. So don't think you're no. you're going you to bring the egg You used to be able to, though. Mm -mm. I used to know people who brought coolers. This is like back in the 90s, yeah, no, in not anymore. 2000, early 2000s. Yeah, now you can't. But I know because they used to say we brought, bring your own food. But the app is awesome, which yeah. you cannot see. It's just my screen phone. We'll the app is it. Maybe awesome. Maybe we can show it. Can um, show it later. Yeah. The app is awesome. So there's something else called um, dining. There's a quick quick serve dining. Yes. Do not get in line for quick serve dining. Go to your app, order from it, schedule the time you want, and when you get close enough, click I'm here. Then you go up to the window, you get your food, your yes. beverages, and then you go sit. You That's, realize the tech you already have on your phone. All you have to do is download the app, which is free. It is free. It is they a free app. I they do. They really do yeah. want you to use that app. Yeah. They want you to put your passes in there. Yeah. And, your, and plus, if you do the picture pass, it's in there. Yeah. It is really convenient and nice. Yeah. And it has a built-in map, and it shows you exactly where you are yeah. on that map. And the, the direction Your cell service is excellent at Magic, at, at Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure about Epcot. Epcot, that's good, too. Okay. Hollywood Studios. That's back when I had a BlackBerry. The Magic Bands, I don't pay for those. This yeah. is a fake Apple Watch. It's not an Apple Watch. This is a $40 watch I got off Amazon. The pairs of my phone. But if you get Magic Bands, you can. They're cute. Yeah, I just think they're cute. But yeah, I'm not right. paying $50 per person. So I, all of our passes are on our on yeah. our app, on our phone. I also uploaded um, credit cards to the phone yes, for the wallet. Oh, because I do believe Disney is cashless. I have no idea. I've never actually yeah. used cash. Yeah, I've used cash. You can you use cash. Used... Yes. Okay, because I know a lot of things are. SeaWorld is cashless. Okay. Or it's Legoland. One of those. Maybe it's Legoland. Legoland they, is cashless. I do know they Legoland. take like Google Pay and Apple Pay at Disney because it was they great definitely for, take, for yeah. my kids. Because yeah. my son just did a school field trip to yeah. Animal Kingdom. They'll do, they'll do Apple Pay. Yeah. They also take cash at Disney. Okay. Not many of us use cash at Disney because you never really know how much you're going and to do spend. Do you want to carry that much cash on you because it's Disney? <laughs> I mean, we spend less probably than anybody because we go so often. Yeah. And we know pretty much what yeah. we're going to do. We're going to have a sit down restaurant. We're going to order from yeah. our phone. I the do other ones to keep us less expensive. Water bottle because we did not bring water bottles. Bring water bottles. And I spent, I think a water bottle is like five dollars. That's five about right. Five or seven dollars. That's about right. And of course, my nobody That's was good. keeping them, and they were tossing them, and then I was buying more. So yes. So bring water bottles. Yes. And if you forget. And you buy a water bottle, reuse it. Reuse it. The other thing is, as soon as you get in the park, take a picture of your parking space. Yes. At the end of the day, yes. I always hear a bunch of, I'm not judging, okay? I'm not judging. But it happens. But I, have, I hear a bunch of people hitting the button on their phone or on their car keys looking Trying for their car. Space. And they all hear like 10 of them at one time, and people are. <laughs> Which one? And every minivan or SUV or whatever you drive, they all look the same after they do. 10 hours of Disney. <laughs> so. As soon as you get to the end of the row, 
take a picture mm -hmm. of where you parked. I do number. that everywhere though, even at the do. airport. And text that. it to a person who maybe isn't there, just in, whose number that you, whose phone number you know, just in case you might, yeah. your phone is dead. My husband you can always call me them. his, and then yeah. I'm like, how do you, you have to like dig back through the picture? <laughs> we just always take a do picture. it. So take a picture of where you park. Take a picture of your park, plan your day, be flexible. Oh, and your Sit license plate if you don't know it. Especially if it's a rental a car. license plate. Yeah, because then at least Disney knows who's come in and out. Or so if you, they end up yeah, having Disney to drive you up and down looking for your car. I've never I've never had that. to do that, but I bet people have. I would not be surprised. I've but seen it, people at the airport have to do that. So but it's fun. Why. I love Disney. I love going. Um, you won't, What you don't want to do is OD. I call it over Disney. And yeah, lots of people that do that. sounds exhausting. And it's easy to do. Yeah. But just have a good time relax and just enjoy it enjoy it it's going there, to be a lot of money you're there with your kids yeah. just it's, soak it up it's going to be a lot of money because everybody is happy it's going to be a lot of money yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of, just embrace it honey it's vacation relax you've planned this for a long time so enjoy it and it's going to be a lot of and money roll with the punches <laughs> because your plan is not going to go according to the plan no, no. Because but have all some of those... ideas of what you want to do yeah. is because maybe you can get some... that's why I always tell my kids, I guarantee you one ride, yeah, one ride, yeah. and they're happy because they got that one ride. And then there's the well, oh, but maybe if we have time, we'll get this because yeah. my kids know things just fall apart. So we're going to talk about Disney another time too. I have no idea when we're supposed to talk about a completely different topic, but yeah, we but do we'll, love Disney. We're working our way through, it. and we'll show you our plan yeah. for for Heather's trip and how we how she plans it out, what she did, and how it went maybe yeah. we'll have her send some maybe pictures I'll talk too about it yeah i'll take some pictures because it's going to be during summer vacation but yeah it's gonna be hot it's gonna be a hot mess but no not hot mess just hot <laughs> i'm gonna be a hot mess one of my kids will be a hot mess <laughs> thank you so much for joining yeah. us we're going to continue to talk about travel on our future episodes but this one was about disney yeah if you like this make sure you share um on your social media channels which we have um facebook youtube instagram and tiktok and our, our channel, www.fromdaystoyears.com. Thanks for joining. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.